all right so what's up quad squad back at it with another one this time 3d printing tips and tricks what i did this time is something pretty cool so i've always wanted an ender 2 pro because i like the way it looks i like the portability of it um but whatever so the way i could justify getting a third printer is because i need one that i can take up to the cottage when i go up to the cottage because you know we can't do without a printer for three days um anyway so that's why i ended up getting this cobra and uh anyways i saw the video that filament friday did on doing this to an ender 3 and uh, i was like you know what this one could probably do it too so i was like you know what? i'm gonna give it a go because uh this is a way better printer than any ender 3 i've ever had or ever seen i mean it's more expensive but i love it i love it it works like a charm every time anyway so I'm going to hop right into it, I'm going to show you how I did it, how it still performs, and then at the end of everything, I'll do a little review on this printer of mine, um, because there's, there's just so many Cobra videos out there about the review of it, it's a great printer, so I'm not going to make a whole different video on it, so I'll just, I'll take you through my thoughts on it, and how I love it, um, and then we'll go from there, if you want to stick around for that, then you do that, and uh, yeah, alright, let's hop right into it. We can put those two bolts in here so we don't lose them. Okay, so now next up I need you to turn the printer to the side. Um, just so we can get at the screws on, on this side. So I'm going to turn it this way. Grab the top of it and pull it out. Boom. Ta da! Do do do! Awesome. So now I just put that over there on the couch. Okay, and then just can you turn around the front and hold the top part. So I need to get the wheels off the back, so just turn it around. Okay, so you wonder if it works, if it does its job well, still well, being like an Ender 2 Pro style Cobra? Well, you tell me. Tell me and look how perfect those lines are. First time, I did auto bed leveling right after taking the bars off, adjusting the, the wheel right back there. Tiny little turn, got it real tight. First go after setting the Z offset. I have never seen a more beautiful first layer. I'll show you it once it's done. All right. So, done it is. So, to answer the question, does it work? And does it need that extra support? Long story short, no it does not. Even with this direct drive setup, even though it adds extra weight and everything, it still doesn't need it. And I love the way it looks like this. Way prefer this. Anyways, that's the Cobra. Here is the up close 
bed leveling. I mean, a tiny little imperfection, like string, like one little string there. But in general, it did exactly what it's meant to do. Put down a perfect layer. Bam, no sagging, no nothing. No. And even if there is a little bit of sagging, this sensor that they have on it works like a charm. I love the auto bed leveling on this. It is always so great. Anyways, bam. Bam, and there it is. And you keep it Cobra with only half of the frame and still working beautifully. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's uh, magnificent, really cool. I think the best way to have it be. Um, and yeah, so now let's give you the up close and personal on it. So yeah, so with the Cubic Cobra, of course it comes with a touch screen, which I love touch screens. Really easy UI to use. Um, yeah, it comes with te tensioners on the X and the Y. I don't know if that was the wrong order, but it has both of them. Um, comes with a PEI flex plate, which it's textured and my favorite surface to print on. Um, obviously it comes with a direct drive extruder um, and has the Titan type of extruder on the inside of it hooked up to a stepper motor. Um, has PTFE tubing lining the inside of the hot end, which I switched it over to a Capricorn so that it withstands the heat better. Um, it has a pressure sensor, automatic bed leveling tool. Um, I find that it works the best out of any auto bed leveling I've ever used. Um, it works beautifully. One of my favorite things about this, this printer is that it doesn't have adjustment knobs on the bed. It is one fixed bed. And that is my favorite because leveling a bed can be very frustrating on certain models. Anyways, so there's that. Um, of course, it's got super great styling. It says Ancubic Cobra with a little bit of metal on it. Um, everything's navy, black, and red. Um, it's a great combination. It's I love the way it looks. It looks really, really cool. Um, the, the direct drive is pretty lightweight and small, which and looks cool. Um, has one cable going up into the main board. Um, it has the plug over here for the power source. Um, the uh, power supply is built into the back of it, which I like that. Um, yeah, it's got a USB-A on the front with the micro SD slot. Um, yeah, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, but I attached a Raspberry Pi to it to add that Wi-Fi, of which I 3D printed and designed this little mount over here. Um, well, I mean, modified somebody's design. Like, this is like a supposed to be a little slot, but I broke the slots, so it's just sitting there. Um, anyway, so that it would slot in there. Um, I designed a little camera holder for the that attaches from this up onto the camera. Um, uh, if you guys wanted that, I'll leave that down in the description for you to download if you wanted it. It works on anything like an Ender 3, works on this, this sidebar, works on anything with that type of profile on the side of the bar. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, this that's that. This is a really great printer. I love it for what it is. Any Cubic Cobra gets nine out of 10 stars for me. Um, it has everything you could possibly want in a budget printer. Um, and I mean, if you can get this on sale or you can get it um, used, I'd say this is the perfect way to have the printer because it functionally works perfect just like this and looks way cooler. And it's probably more, uh, you take off a lot of weight for carrying it around if you want it as portable and such. I mean, and obviously this thing only comes with one lead screw which is all you need to make it like this. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the coolest thing. I mean, you could also get the Cobra Go or the Cobra Neo and do this to it as well um, if you wanted something more budget friendly. But I mean, love the printer, really cool. Yes, it works without half of the frame and it works great, like I've said a few times now. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's that. Let's all right, one last flyover.
and we're out. All right, so take 300. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I just wanted to basically add this last little tidbit in to basically address that. I know that the print that I was printing ended up having a little bit of a layer shift. Um, and I mean, if, if, you're, if you're new with 3D printing, layer shifts happen sometimes. Um, not very often, but sometimes it does. I mean, it's basically just the bed's going back and forth, back and forth, and the, the, the belt slips a little bit, and you get a layer, layer shift. Um, but anyways, I mean, I know it wasn't because it's missing half its frame because it was on the bed motion, not the, the head motion. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify that before someone's like, oh, the layer shifts because of the, because of the, it missing half its frame. No, I mean, yeah, it, it, it still works perfect without half its frame. I'd say it almost works better um, and it's cooler and etc. like once you tighten up those little wheels, I don't think you're ever going to have a sag again um, and worry about uh, one side being lower than the other. Like, it's just less things to worry about. Anyways, that's what I got. Cobra, Workhorse, such a great printer. Um, I love it, and it, print, it prints out great prints, all materials, TPU, PETG, PLA, like it all comes out great quality and uh, I mean if you're looking for a printer that just works straight out of the box and is reliable then this would probably be my biggest recommendation and it looks awesome and it's kind of compact to a point touchscreen um, direct drive PEI fixed bed I mean you can't beat this printer and especially if you can get it on deal or a sale or get it used and do this what I did to it Yo, you're off to the races. Anyways, that's what I got. Quad squad out. I hope you keep coming back and have a great rest of your day. Peace.